Okie dokie. In this problem, they ask which of the following is incorrect, starting with number one. They say the derivative of x to the e is e times x to the e minus 1. Well, if we're taking a derivative of x raised to some number, e is just a number. We bring that number out in front, and then we subtract one from the exponent. So the result is e x to the e minus 1. So this checks out. So it's not incorrect. It is correct. So we cancel it out x to the e, the derivative of x to the e at x equals 1 is e. So what we try is, well, the derivative of x to the e we actually found right here. So we plug in 1 for x in this derivative. So 1 goes in place of x. We have this. We have e times 1 to the e minus 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 cubed is 1. 1 raised to any exponent, 1 to the e minus 1, is just 1. So we get e times 1, or just e. So the derivative of x to the e at x equals 1 is e. That checks out. Let's switch up. All right. The function e to the x is decreasing. Well, before we answer that, this one says e to the x is increasing. So really, only one of these must be true. So let's check out e to the x on a graph. So as we look from start to finish, from left to right, e to the x will always just be an increasing function. And so this is the one that is incorrect, so it's likely c. Let's go through the rest of them, though. So e to the x is increasing. And then let's start with this last one. The derivative of e to the x at x equals 0 is 1. As we go through this section, there's a few derivatives you need to memorize. One of them is the derivative of e to the x. The nice thing about the derivative of e to the x is that it's just e to the x. It does not change. So the derivative f prime at x equals 0, f prime of 0 is e to the 0, but anything to the 0 is 1. So for them to say the derivative is 1 checks out. We break out the eraser, and we see c is our answer.